Hey guys, it's Mike Tarallo with Click. This video is going to walk you through getting started from scratch with Click Cloud. I created this video for those who mentioned on another webinar, they would like to see the complete process from beginning to end in one video. So that's what we're going to do today. So to jump right in, I am in a web browser. It could be Chrome, it could be Edge, it could be Firefox. Pretty much there is a supported list of browsers, but most of them are supported. I prefer Chrome. I will go to the address bar, type in click.com, and this will bring me to our website. And then in the upper right, there's a button, try for free. And then right here where it says get started for free, just put in some information. I'm just gonna put in some testing information. And then click activate my trial. Then you're just gonna to go to your inbox. You'll receive an activation email. There's a button, let's get started. And now you're going to register your account with your tenant. So I'm just gonna create a password here. Check that you have read and accept the terms and conditions and click create account. The next few steps will allow you to choose your region. It will automatically identify the region you're in, but depending on where the region map shows you, you can choose different regions. Here, I'm in the Americas USA. I'm going to choose that and click finish. And then you'll notice I have a tenant URL that ends in .us.clickcloud.com. There is a question here, please choose your response. New to click, no click, new to click cloud, experience click cloud. What are you trying to achieve? And select the appropriate answer. And then click submit. And within a matter of minutes, you now have a 30 day trial of click cloud. At this point, you're in the Click Cloud Analytics Hub and you have an option now to customize your view. You have a left menu pane, which has a number of different categories for you to select. I will go through those momentarily. You have a section called How Do I, which are brief educational instructional videos, as well as sample demonstration apps. Now, usually at this point, if you're like me, you want to get started right away and create something and then probably come back to this stuff. Just like if I buy a video game, I put it in and I start playing it. I don't even bother looking at the manual. I just get started. And then when I have questions, I come back. So that's what we're going to do now. Now, since this is a trial, you'll have different options available to you on how to add data. You'll notice that depending on what you are trialing, in this case, we're trialing Click Cloud Analytics, we have other options for creating automations, predictive analytics, data integration, etc. cetera. Uh, however, the trial doesn't offer that. You'll notice through the, what we call the hamburger menu, you have your management console and analytics services. And I'll also walk you through these particular menu options as well. But the first thing I wanna do, is I just wanna create a report against some data. And where this video is posted, I'm also going to include that sample data set so you can walk along with me. Now, granted, we do have start with data, establish a data connection, upload a data file. You can do all this, but again, if you're like me, you kind of want to do it on your own. So I'm just going to go right in, click add new, and we're going to create a new data set. And we're going to add a file to that data set. Now, one thing I want to point out here is that our data catalog, which helps you profile and add additional information to the data has a number of connections that you can add to it. And these will grow over time. Now, these aren't all the connections that we support. These are just the connections that are supported by the data catalog, which are file-based or relational database, cloud analytics-based, etc. So just keep in mind when you clear So just keep in mind when you create a data set, it adds it to what's called the data catalog. It's a little bit different than creating a data connection. And I can elaborate on that a little bit later. 
So we're going to just click upload data file. I'm going to click browse. And I happen to have some data in my data folder. And I have a new data file for this year. I think it's actually in my Dropbox folder. And it's called 2023 getting started. And I'm just going to put it in my personal space for now. We can talk about spaces later as well. So now I'm going to click upload and analyze. Now, when you upload and analyze, it actually does the data preparation and just brings you right into the interface that shows you the tables that you uploaded. Okay. If you're not familiar with this or depending on your data table, this could be a little confusing to you because you're not possibly reading all the different steps that are available. This is just a visual display of the data in the file. In my Excel file, I happen to have two tabs, one with my sales data and another with a security table. And the security table is there to demonstrate uh, something called section access or dynamic data reduction, row level security. We can talk about that in a future video. But at this point here, I just want this particular table. If I don't want the security table here, I can just take this and delete it. So I'm just gonna grab that particular table and we're just gonna remove it by clicking the delete button. Okay, and that deletes the table reference from the app. Now, when you load data into the app, you're not touching the source data. It's a way of pulling the data into the app when it's loaded into the Click Cloud Platform. At this point, I'm not gonna modify or change anything, but you can edit the data table here. You can change names, you can change metadata, you can create calculations, you can do some light data cleansing. Uh, data augmentation, transformation in here. I'm not doing any of that at this moment. And all I'm gonna do is click load data. Now the data is loaded, we can click go to sheet. And now we're presented with a few options. You can explore the data with Inside Advisor. You could ask a question utilizing the Inside Advisor search or natural language search bar and you can create new analytics so as you click each one of these a different option will show so for example if i just say have a question it puts you up here to the top where you can ask a question so this creates a logical business model that helps train inside advisor when you first load the data that can also be updated and modified to make inside advisor smarter we'll get all into that a little bit later but just to give you an example i can type something as you know sales last year and press enter and it's going to automatically create a visualization also a narrative box showing me a line chart sales over time and you'll see the filter applied as last year and i easily could add that to my sheet this is a great set of bells and whistles that are added into the click cloud analytics platform touch on those in future videos right now all i'm going to do here is uh, just click cancel and then show you that when you're in Inside Advisor, you have the ability to select fields and you also have the ability to pick analysis types where it helps guide you by providing you the measures and the dimensions that you might want to display as metrics or visualizations within your sheets or dashboards. Again, all great options helps automatically create and also answer those questions when you're analyzing data. I do realize there is a lot within the Click Cloud Analytics platform. And we're going to cover all of those bits, tips and tricks, and get you through that. But right now, we're just going to get to the basics. So I'm going to turn off Inside Advisor, and we're going to click Create New Analytics. This will bring you to what we refer to as our simplified authoring experience as compared to the advanced options. Again, talk about that later. But this will provide you with a list of your fields and tables, which are classified with your um, metadata for strings or, or numerics or dates or uh, geographies, etc. You have a table viewer so you can inspect the data. And then you have your visualization options. If you select a field, it'll actually show you the values that you can select and filter on if you wanted to use those for any particular reason while you're creating your dashboard. So we're just going to create a simple dashboard by searching for the sales measure. And I can just drag this directly on top of the chart placeholder here. And it's automatically going to create what we call a KPI, key performance indicator. 
This is showing the total sales that are in the data file that we uploaded. Now, if I wanted to add a dimension, such as let's say our, um, see if we have country in here, I believe we do. So there's a uh, country code. So let's just grab, oh, there it is right here, 2020, 23 country. Let's grab that and put that as a dimension. And it automatically recognizes that as a field for geography and it creates a map. Now, if you wanted to change these auto chart features right now, it's in kind of like the auto chart mode, but you can change this to different chart looks and feels and orientations if you wanted to do that, but it will automatically select the best chart for you. In this case here, I could also go back just by clicking the undo button. Now, if I choose a particular measure, I can change the aggregation. I could add a label. I could also change the number formatting. Same thing for the dimension. Instead of having it the label as such, I'm just going to call it country. And that'll show you updates within the axis if it was a different chart, etc. You have labels for styling, subtitle, footnote, etc. I'm not going to get into too much detail there. If I wanted to add another chart object, in this case, now we'll just do sales again drop that as a measure. And now we have a two panel dashboard from simplified authoring. There's a number of ways to do perform, you know, let's say filter selection as well. If I just wanted to take our country, drop it here. And now this is just going to filter on this particular panel. So maybe I'm just interested in Canada. Now at this point, we're applying an individual filter to an individual visualization. So that is defined that way. If you wanted to add filters to individual visualizations, there's a number of different options here. Just going to remove that filter. And now we're going to come out of edit mode and go into analysis mode. And you can see very simply, both charts are interactive already. They're linked together. There isn't any manual wiring between each of the charts our patented associative engine does that for you okay and this is just an example of just analyzing that data so that's all i wanted to show you real quickly in this particular video i'm going to create a number of different videos after this that are going to go in a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper but keeping them short and sweet just to get you up to speed very quickly instead of having to let's say jump around to different resources. This video will be self-contained in a series that'll help guide you through some of the most basic steps and provide additional tips and tricks to help you get started. Okay guys, thanks for your time and I'll see you on the next video.